Hey everybody, what is going on today? Welcome to the channel. Today we've got a pitching tips video, man. I'm gonna show you guys how you can cause weak contact and how you guys can get more outs and stop giving up bombs and so many big hits in MLB The Show 21. So you guys do me a favor, as always, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, man. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Remember on Sunday, August 8th, we've got the giveaway for the Wander Franco autographed baseball that we'll be doing live here on the channel. So you guys make sure you're subscribed for that. You gotta be subscribed, it's the only rule. Uh, so just make sure that you are. And uh, and then also we've got uh, some new uh, member rewards as well on the channel. So you guys can check that out by clicking the join button there below and find out all the information about it if you're interested. So let's go and get right to the pitching tips. But first, make sure to check out the sponsor on today's video, AHMLB.com, where you guys can get cheap stubs to finish those collections off and get those awesome cards for your squad. Use code BIG at checkout for 5% off. All right, you guys. So here we are in a little bit of custom practice again because I want to show you guys exactly what the pitch types you need to be throwing and where you need to throw those pitches to induce weak contact, all right? Because that's what you want to do. If you're if you're struggling with getting people out, striking them out, uh, and strikeouts are a little hard sometimes on All-Star because you can hit just about anything uh, sometimes. So uh, you want to go ahead and try to induce contact to get outs, but you want to get weak contact. You don't want to get, uh, you know, giving up big fly balls and line drives and gappers and doubles and triple home runs, all that stuff. So what we're going to do, we're going to pop in here into custom practice. We don't have a batter up. And the reason we don't have a batter up because we don't really need one right now. Um, making the making the CPU try to swing at stuff that I want them to swing at the way I want to for a video. <laughs> They're not going to do it. And uh, and trying to get one to record with, uh, with, with people live is, is a little bit more difficult too when you're trying to explain stuff. So bear with me for this. You guys understand why I'm explaining it this way. So... Um, so fastballs. Fastballs are not going to be a pitch that's typically going to be a go-to weak contact kind of pitch, all right? Your fastballs are just going to come in here. And I use pulse pitching. It doesn't matter which interface you use, by the way. You can use any pitching interface. So this will work for all of them. Um, this is uh, this just is universal in general. But all right, so fastballs, like I said, obviously not going to be the biggest one. Uh, there's going to be two types of fastballs, though, that are going to be good for you. And we'll go over those in just a few minutes. It's going to be cutter and sinker. So we'll go over those. But let's Let's look at the three pitches that we have here that can induce uh, ground balls, all right, uh, or weak contact. We've got the slider. The slider is going to be great because the slider for a left-handed hitter, when you're using it, the left-handed hitter is going to stand obviously over here. You're going to be able to bust this slider into that back foot. Uh, so what you're going to try to do is bring it across the hitter to the back foot, making it look like it's going to be a strike the entire time until it drags across there. This is also good of why I use this view when I pitch because you can see what the batter is going to see and exactly how you can manipulate them. So, so that's going to be a pitch that's going to induce weak contact. Uh, the changeup. The changeup in particular is one that does. A changeup is great for causing double plays, all right? Uh, what you want to do is you want to keep the changeup away from hitters. You want to keep it low and away from hitters. So let's say we got a left-handed hitter up again that's on this side of the plate. We're going to go ahead and keep this away from him over here. Put it over on this other side. We'll go to right-handed hitters too, don't worry. So you're going to keep it over there. Keep it away from the plate. Uh, try to get him to swing, and you'll hit a ground ball. Change-ups low and away are just more likely to induce ground balls, all right? Uh, for a right-handed hitter, for both of those pitches, uh, obviously the right-handed hitter is going to be over here. So a slider, you're going to want to just tail completely away from him in that same exact spot. You're not really going to want to move it any different. Throw it right here. We're using J Jacob DeGrom right here at the moment too, which a lot of people have. So... Um, it's the live, I guess the live series one though, cause we're using practice, but change up, same thing, man. Same thing. If you can go in here to this, to this low and away spot and hit it with him with a change up, it's going to be very similar to that, uh, to that slider, but it's going to have more downward movement than horizontal movement, obviously. And then also you can sneak sliders back in here to right-handed hitters as well. Sometimes you got to be a little careful with them. Uh, sometimes they'll hang over the inside part of the plate just a little bit too much. So I like to tail them away from the outside to the outside. Uh, so that one can give up a little bit of strong contact, but weak contact uh, can happen with that one. Now the curveball, the curveball is really, you're, you're trying to get somebody to be way out in front of a pitch, all right? You're going to try to get them to swing on the dirt, be way out in front of a pitch, make weak contact, and just and just put the ball, you know, weakly to the third baseman or the first baseman or something on the ground. A lot of times curveballs, though, will induce pop-ups. Um, they're out in front of it. They'll get under the ball and pop it up. So uh, you just have to be careful that you don't hang them. With curveballs, throw them low. Throw them low, bring them to the outside part of the plate. Don't ever bring a curveball in. Don't bring a curveball high. Break them to the outside part of the plate or at least middle out uh, if you're going to do it. But I, I really recommend going out with it. If you bring it in like this, I mean, it just looks, 
it just looks too meaty, man. You just want to knock the crap out of it. So don't don't leave that for somebody as an option. Obviously, that one was a little bit of a ball. But all right, so let's go look at another pitcher and some different pitches right quick. All right, this is perfect. We got Corbin Burns right here. Now, this is the perfect one because he's got the sinker and cutter, which are two of the pitches that I was talking about just a moment ago. The sinker. The sinker to a right-handed hitter, let's say. All right, right-handed hitter is going to be here on the left side. I know it's weird. That's why I'm, I'm clarifying because there's people that are new to baseball. It can be confusing to you. So uh, so the, the right-handed hitter is obviously over here. We're throwing a sinker right now. Sinkers are going to be great thrown right here on this downward, down and in spot. Uh, you can start getting guys on guys that throw like an outlier sinker or something like that to induce weak contact. You can get them right here, bust them in. Uh, the only thing you have to worry about is if you come across the plate too much, uh, and leave it right there on the middle, or the ball ends up like right here or something. They're gonna they're gonna smack it. Now on this game, you can throw high sinkers. You can throw high sinkers and get away with it. It's something in the game. You wouldn't want to throw high sinkers in real life. Everybody knows that. Uh, but sinkers, another place for them is going to be right here uh, to right-handed hitters, just like uh, a, a, kind of like a slider or something in a way. But it's gonna sink down and drop like a curve. It's just gonna be thrown a lot or a changeup. Just gonna be thrown a lot harder. Uh, so you can keep them away from the plate. Uh, sinkers are great for inducing double plays as well, just like the changeup. If you keep them inside the hitters, you will get a double play out of them. They're, they're uh, very likely to induce one. Um, you just got to keep them down. Got to keep them down on the zone. So I recommend kind of throwing. If you're, if you're a pulse pitcher, aim down low a little bit more than you need to. Um, you know, something like that. But uh, if, you're, if you're using pinpoint or any of those, you, know, you guys know where to aim with those. It's, it's going to be a little different for me with pulse. So I understand that. Uh, hopefully you guys do too. Uh, the cutter, now, oh wait, sinkers to a left-handed hitter. All right, sinkers to a left-handed hitter, you want to do the same thing. They're standing over here. You want to be able to bring them inside right here or put them on this outside part. Pretty much sinkers, or this is where you want to throw them, man. You want to keep them on the edges of the plate. You never want a sinker, sinker to be middle uh, in this part of the zone at all. You just want them all up and down the corners, um, and you can work that in the game pretty easily. All right, so cutters, cutters now. All right, a cutter can be thrown just like a slider. A lot of pitchers will have a cutter but not have a slider. And the reason for that is, uh, well, one of the reason they just didn't throw one, but the reason it works that same way is it's pretty much just a hard slider. That's what a cutter is. Uh, it might have more late break sometimes than a uh, than a slider will, but that's as a result of the uh, the the harder the harder throwing the the uh, added velocity to it as opposed to a slider. So you can throw it out like that away from a right-handed hitter who's standing over here, obviously. You can throw it out away just like a slider. You can also bring them in right here. And this is a great place to try to dot pitches and get weak contact and get people uh, looking because the ball looks like it's going to be an inside ball for quite a while. And then all of a sudden we'll break across that inside part of the plate. You'll see the movement there at the last second. So that's what the hitter sees. Kind of crazy. To left-handed hitters with a cutter, you can break it in. Uh, I recommend breaking them in and then doing this outside part right here. But bring them off the plate in. Try to make them jam them. I, I did that one very late. It was a bad pitch right there. But if you do it in, uh, you're going to jam them and get weak contact, get a lot of broken bats. That's how that's going to work for you. So uh, there's a lot of other pitches in the game that are very similar to other pitches. Those are the main ones, really. The sinker, the cutter, the slider, the change of the curveball. Those are going to be your weak contact pitches. You can throw a screwball just like a curveball, except it breaks the opposite direction. So, um, you know, you still want to keep it low in the zone, do the same thing with it. Uh, slurves are going to be very similar to sliders. You want to keep them tailing away from that low outer part of the plate to right-handed hitters. To lefties, you can break them in on that back foot to them. Um, you know, they're, they're, all, all the pitches are relatively the same. The two seamer is the one I wish worked the best. It doesn't, unfortunately. Uh, the two-seamer should work about like a sinker, even if they have the cork um, it, it, that says it's a, sink, a sinker ball or th a sinker thrower or whatever, sinker ball or whatever the hell they said on the cork. Uh, it doesn't seem to work that way, so um, just not quite, not quite great. But uh, those are the, those are that's the basics, man. That's the basics for where you guys can get weak contact out of your pitches. Uh, we'll be doing some more hitting our pitching tip videos uh, for you guys. Also, we got hitting tip videos on the channel too. Uh, but make sure to check these out, man, because I'm a much better pitcher than I am a hitter in this game. And pitching is kind of where I where I thrive. So hope this helps you guys out. If you have any questions, make sure to ask. I'm losing my voice. Sorry about that. Uh, you guys, uh, make sure to do me a favor, as always, smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel, man. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks. Peace.